Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of this wonderful game where I am at a scavenging site. So it's been a while since we got uh, them and uh, we are doing one in the mist zone. It's going to be a quick one really because uh, we are not going to fight very long. Uh, it's just an in and out and hopefully getting some loot. All right, we landed and we do have a few crates. Exit over here. But we're in the middle of enemy territory, so <clears throat> I would be guessing. Ready to roll. We're not getting that many crates. I was born Starting ready. with putting everyone in frenzy. We've got incoming. Advancing. Oh, look at that. There's even an additional crate that I haven't seen. Uh, I think the pistol is worth more. Okay, hmm, that didn't exactly work out as I thought it would. I'm going. On it. Almost. You are kidding me, right? Oh boy. Um I think the med kit is worth more than that. Zeus grenade isn't bad either. It's generally a really good loot chest. Taking action. Good, let's see what else we get up here. Okay, we could help looting with Carlos. Let's go. So far we're doing fine, but I want to get out of here really, really fast. So the moment that something is going wrong, we'll just book it. We got three chests or, um, already, which is good. No point in overdoing it. Yeah, we're being spotted out now. Oh, yeah, lots of enemies. I was born ready. I'm listening. 
dashing. Yeah, we're just booking it. I do not have a particular interest in fighting any of that. I haven't used. Builds, nor have we taken any damage or pristine. Catch me if you can. We got quite a bit of loot on top of that, so there's really no point in sticking around. It's again risk versus reward. Could I fight them? Yes. For one more chest risking that we're taking injuries and spending uh, a bit of money for like what 50 more xp mm -mm. not worth it those missions they are really mainly focused around getting you some quick easy loot and specifically if you're fighting deep within the enemy compound like look at that i mean i got 800 couple of guns is the team still ready by the way i think they are So let's move to the rebuke. Personal on Mandicore 1 definitely needs to chill out. Nice. Uh, advanced laser technology. What did we get? Uh, Phoenix laser PDW energy pack. Okay, we got a PDW. Cool. It's one action point, 40 damage times four. That's 160. Good range, good ammo capacity. Uh, deploys a static turret. Phoenix laser array. Okay, not a hundred percent sure what that is, but it seems like a really big laser. Maybe some sort of a laser weapon. Two hundred ten points of damage. Ultra long range. Takes one action point. So I tell you what. These here are all fun and games, but I would like to test that as well. Phoenix laser array. It looks like something that you would like put on your back. Hmm. Not sure, but it looks great. It sure does. I want to save money though to not like build everything at once now. Don't need food. Construction complete. Uh, medical one. Yeah, slowly getting there. 
What kind of construction was complete? In Misthaven? Medical Bay? Yeah, we got the living quarters. So Misthaven, we, you could theoretically go there now as well. And Alaska gets a repeller, which reminds me I wanted to open new bases as well. Mandicore 3 personnel needs healing, so we were on our way up here. New aircraft available, and that would be in Phoenix Point, please. Which reminds me that in Phoenix Point, we finally got our main team with the right outfit. So, give me a second. Yeah, we want to have the field medic. That was really good. Still want to give her um, a second class though. But anyways, I was saying we finally got Medical 1 ready. So, these guys are deboarding. Which means Medical 1 now is free to go and pick up the last remaining two uh, soldiers up here. While Celios 5 and 6. are preparing to kind of uh, transport our prime team and they should be really fast with that anyways we got the rebuke which is the actual other mission that we wanted to do today because uh, our first one was a bit fast and that is team number four as well still are very much ready to go Maybe a little bit more ammunition here and there would be good. He does have this ultra shitty gun. Might as well give him a proper one. And his helmet also was the one with the accuracy penalty, right? Yeah. Guy Aaron does have a sniper helmet, but not the real body wear. So now he is more accurate. Appreciate that. Equipment wise, we got a pistol upgrade. Might as well use that and give him a laser pistol, which generally is more accurate uh, and more ammo friendly. So Ankit, the doubter, is ready. Isabella here, I think. Sniper helmet for accuracy. Don't believe that it makes such a big difference. Okay, good base equipment. Um, she helps shredding. I wonder if we want to try that new Jericho piercing rifle with her. I haven't tried that yet. Uh, might as well be good. Can't use that before we've um, manufactured the right ammunition.
grenade is fine. Um, good, enough healing for her, because we're oftentimes running out of healing. Carlos did remarkably well. I'm actually quite happy with him, uh, but NT is biochemist, so having a weapon with a lot of attacks is helpful for him. Unfortunately, he's not really proficient with any of them. Good. At least he got some accuracy, which might help him with really being not that proficient. Phoenix Sniper, Phoenix Sniper, and the Assault Helmet. That's not bad. It's a good start. He got that Sniper Helmet as well. So his accuracy should be okay, and his stealth actually should be fine as well. Um, yeah, those swamp clothes don't have any stealth rating on them. At least he does not have any armor that has a low stealth rating. We're going to use the drones a bit more again. They were helpful. All right, let's deploy the squad. Okay, so what we need to do is the Antediluvian Collection Retrieval, whatever that means. It pretty much seems like there is likely a target somewhere here. We fought on that very exact map. What's the plan? <laughs> In Stilling Frenzy, and let's use Ankit the Doubter. Best name ever, by the way. Taking action. Oh, okay. Let's do this. Evacuate all operators. Well, that's pretty straightforward. Moving now. Okay, we're moving up. Goofy Goober. Here we go. Can we hit through here somehow? Good. Spider drone is ready to move in next turn. Advancing. Taking cover. Proceeding. Which I think we will need very much so. Right on top. <gasps> Good. That takes care of the stupid um, grenade launcher. Pushing on. Isabella moves up, pushes on. Heading out. And we can already see Acquiring enemies. Nice. 
Moving up. And we're continuing to move up. All we need to do is get out of here. That hurt, didn't it? 12 hit points. Okay, well. Nothing will get past me. He should die. As long as not that many are respawning, we should actually be okay. We can get rid of the artillery. All we need to do is yeah, destroy both of the Chinrans and keep the worms at bay. We're yeah, if we're taking our stand here, we should be okay. Uh, that is the only problem. Enemy snipers. Must stay calm. Breathe. Pretty good uh, shooting angles, so let's use that to our advantage. Hmm. Okay. Ready to fire. Let's do this. And kid moves up. Confirm mind control, yes please. And we're moving up. That's one way of getting rid of them, as, uh, by the way, as well. much equipment destroyed nice ready to roll on my way let's blast them okay cool new spider needs to be released Shooting it directly up there. Good. And we're starting to hit all of the enemies. Back into cover for Carlos. Open. Sniper hopefully will deal. Uh, the sniper hopefully will deal uh, with the Triton sniper will deal with the drone. Yes. <laughs> 
All right, more enemies are incoming. Don't know if they continue to respawn, but we need to push through them, so it won't be that easy. Receiving loud and clear. Let's do this. And Kit the Doubter continues his Enemy barraging back. on the side of the map. Like it. Maybe they attack the spider drone, who knows? We'll take that one out. Soon our mind control will be gone. For now we're still fine. Guy's not yet dead. Kill both of them. One. Is that all? Two. And we're reloading. No spider drone this turn, but we're, we're okay without one. Amy. Success. Okay, a couple of misses. Overall okay. Okay. Moves over. Hostile down. Removes uh, the I'm going. sniper. And we're continuing here. So far we're okay. Come on, turn. Thank you. Would that hit the guy? Hmm. He does have a melee pincer. That's a problem. He would kill the uh, the spider. time he was hitting last time he threw them out of uh, the map it really w worked to our advantage yep 
Yeah, and Kit the Doubter can't stay over here. Okay, so far so good. Power moves up. Acid worm moves up. Carlos hits but doesn't kill. Moving over. I just need the right angle. Yes, did it. Good. That solves that problem. Now. One spider drone over there. And we need to reload. Unfortunately not free reload. On my way. is to kill your stupid head. There we go. Out of ammunition, free reload. Area covered. Overwatch. Good. One of the artilleries is down. All we need is to kill the second one. <coughs> no, 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 that's not fair. This mission would have been astronomically more simple had, had we had a, a buggy of sorts. We would have just loaded everyone in. And the next thing you know... Shot wide. And the next thing you know, we were, were just zooming over to the other side. Acid worm. Whoosh. Well, that sucks being you. Okay, spider drone moves up. Move. Here I am. Let's do this. 
Good, we're slowly but surely going to get over there. Receiving loud and clear. Targeting. Heading out. Jumping down. Ignoring all of these guys. And instead... Starting to melt through the armor. Receiving. One spider drone. Here's a little trick I know. And another spider drone. Eyes open. One more round until I lose control of my worm and afterwards we need to just stay here for a, for a second. Okay. Aiming. Almost. On it. Yes. Good. Can't over. Uh, can't overwatch when we're out of ammunition. Fireworms are coming. Great. Hostile wounded. This guy just killed the spider, but that's okay. Better than killing any of us. being peppered absolutely peppered with uh, these little worms yeah unfortunately I need to kill that worm now As already mentioned, we need to recover because next turn we're going to haste. What's our plan? That was a kill. Yeah, just Overwatch. I'm on Overwatch. Let's blast them. One. Is that all? Two. Three. One more to the list. And reload. One. Yes, see. Moves over and overwatches. Aiming. 
I think we can't out damage them. I don't think so. All we can do is just move on and accept that we're going to get peppered. Good, spider just stands here as a bait. Finger on the trigger. We finally can <coughs> see the culprit in the moment that I can get rid of the armor that would be awesome there we go Overwatching. Got you covered. We're just holding our position here. Yeah, well, it's a lot of actions every single turn to go and get rid of uh, these these worms okay so far the hand pistol yes, kills indeed. turned out to be quite he uh, quite good trying to aim Byron. finally something positive Make sure that uh, we are killing right all of the worms. Goofy Goofer do this. uses one of those spiders again. Spider drones, by the way, are actually quite helpful. Good. This guy's almost down. He's burning and bleeding and potentially doesn't even have a weapon anymore. Okay, before we're going up against him, what's our plan? Let's see what Ankif the Doubter has to say. Certainly wants to remove. Oh, gotcha. Targeting. Not good. I wanted to remove uh, the remaining armor. Instead, we have the pistol in hand. Not the end of the world. Could have been better, though. Ready to roll. other guys will be starting to spray very soon so in the meantime 
On it. Damn, missed. Let's get its torso down. Eyes open. Guy running away. I think he wants to keep going. Guy Aaron. Channel open. Very much solved that. Come on, you're not telling me that I once again went too far. Ready to fire. Receiving. That's frustrating. I'm here. The spider drone moves up. And we disable the head on top. Okay, cool. We don't want to kill this guy. Moving now. Isabella puts more spiders out just to keep these two occupied. And slowly but surely we're making our way out of here. He's still not wanting to go. At some point he runs out of uh, mm, these little worms. Enemy engaged. I just need the right angle. One. Two. Feel a bit safer now. And we're reloading. Very good. This time we're not making the same mistake. And if there's enough uh, left over to <coughs> actually deal some very solid damage. Take this one over. more damage and begin to run next turn ready Good. we're putting a sacrificial lamb there. On my way. And we're moving further up. Eyes open. 
Eyes open. Overwatch here. Dash. Gets into position. And finally the kill. And we're running. He has now destroyed both of his legs. Unfortunately, lost control of our worm. Keep it together, operative. have a spitting problem. Hopefully going to be a nice distraction as well. Do they have ranged weapons? No and no. Moving out. We could be anywhere. Switching ammo. Sprinting to position. And get the doubter. As always doubts our chances. We're completely out of ammunition. Which kind of tells you just how long this mission has been going. There is a ranged attacker, by the way. That didn't work. I've broken something. Run, 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 Jumping out, but we're not yet extracting. Loud and clear. Okay. I got this shotgun covered. Overwatch. Is not particularly good, but look, we're moving up. So maybe these guys are going for the drone. Shelf wide. 
Yeah, I think we're getting out. Okay, cool. Dash into the coordinates. Extract. Let's roll. Extract. Extract. Moving to position. And we're done. Wow. Close a mission than I would have anticipated. The whole artillery has taken Let's go. so much ammunition from us. But once you destroy their artillery thrower, they're actually in, in an advantageous position. And we got quite a bit of uh, experience on top of it. Let's see what the storyline mission yielded us. This was one of the th early storyline missions, I think. As for the team, they might, uh, with, the, with the right help, they might actually make a really good team. Collection secured. Remember, our scientist reports need to be established and maintained control over unique industrial nodes of the Antediluvian in order to assemble new weapons. We've identified another collector. This time we have uh, uh, we have to brave a Snydrian Haven. We expect uh, to develop a long-range weapon blueprint based on the collection. 50 skill points. Oh, I see. So this is us basically getting all of the new weapons. Well, let's get rebuke done first. Always a fan of getting the quick ones out before anything else happens. Uh, can't really get anything too bad. The people of Anaxrian largely seem positively inclined towards us, but one individual insists that there is a philosophical question which must be debated before any diplomatic relationships can proceed. Was the Phoenix pro uh, Project an arm of the pre-war bourgeoisie? Um, it was not. Well, good that we got that out of the way. So, as I was saying, the Heliuses are currently on their way to just gather resources. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. That is wrong. They need to be in the base in order to regain their strength. All right, once again, you guys, Phoenix Point. Thank you. Cool. Ancient Tech Grenade Launcher. Shreds 30. Ooh, wow. It's a better version of our grenade launcher. So, Manticore 3. Let's take a look at the personnel as well. Yeah, they need a rest. Big time. Good. Lots of soldiers are getting higher ranks in Born in the USA.
Prime team still needs to recover. Do we want three spider drones as one uh, at once? I think I want to test it. So far, the spider drones actually worked out relatively well. Medical three is recovering here. And at the same time, Medicore 1 is on the way to them. Gets those two, gets uh, that one, and then picks up the remaining two. So they are getting ready to invade this facility here. Brings us to Tierma 2. The green is the only one who requires a bit of healing. And that's fine. We could live with that. We wanted to use them in order to like do the storyline missions here, phase two and the exploration side. So I would say give them a few more ticks. And then we should be good. Getting more of that. Um, yeah, we're a good time to move here. Research complete. Uh, we don't need food. We have plenty. Fragger's finally more damage. That's good. They are waiting. that um and look we're just moving here so team number one in phoenix point is ready New recruits available. Very, very well. Can always use a heavy and get them to born in the USA because that's going to be our fifth team 
uh, in the distant future. For now, let's get to Phoenix Point and here we're putting our team into the into uh, the Helio 6. We wanted to uh, get to here. Wow, so many ships to maneuver at the same time. Medical 3 almost done. I think the timing will be good. We're getting there and then both of the Manticores together can fly down. Oh boy, more goo. I hate the goo uh, so much. Stronger... Artillery. More acid bombs. Integrated gun arms. Mm. Okay. That is the most cover uh, covered one. Oh yeah, well, 80 armor, great. Now that's going to be fun. All of the upgrades, like literally every single one was not good. Two for nine is not a good trade. Good. Um, we want... You on Helios 5, and you on Helios 5, and you on Helios 5, and Barbara. Get some cool traits. That, for instance, isn't bad. Barbara, still thinking about what to do with you. For now, I think we're okay. Um, might use you a little bit uh, later. So exploration side. Our operatives uh, report a seeing a strange uh, spindly quivering line on the horizon. When the Medical 4 gets closer, they de discover a gargantuan spinal column extending hundreds of meters into the sky. Rising up from a pool of m uh, mucus, it holds itself in place with an array of thin, near-transparent tentacles. Let's study it. We got some research out of it. Okay. Research complete. The food production uh, facilities available for constructions. What does food production facility mean? So, food production generates enough food for eight soldiers each day. Guys, I, I don't know. Food is the easiest resource to get. I would much rather want to have one that creates materials on an ongoing basis. Yeah, that's not a good. That's not a good uh, building. So we do have soon the fourth uh, training facility ready, and I'm saving up <clears throat> to manufacture even more stuff. So we're at that point where we can now actually start to manufacture new stuff so we do have team one flying in manticore one and five team two in the two uh, team one in the two helioses 
Team 3 in the two Manticores, Team 2 in uh, the Tiamat, and Team 4 currently isn't having a second uh, ship, it's just a six-man crew. So I wonder... First, I think we need a couple of these, but I wonder whether or not we want to create another Tiamat. Uh, from a resource efficiency standpoint, that would be very efficient for our fifth team. It isn't fast, but it gets the job done, right? So with that, we could get the fifth team deployed and actually have kind of the Americas under control, North and South America. Equally, we could now expand or we're starting to build items. Now, what would we want to build if we were to build items? I think there are a couple reasonable items that we need. Starting with the VVA2 arms for the technicians. That would immediately make a difference for the technicians. So that's very helpful. I think we cannot yet build anything with our new resources. I don't believe we have enough of them. But we do have laser turrets because I built them. <clears throat> So they should be fine. Do we really need the purification grenade is the question. Maybe, maybe not. Um, we could go for more neural pistols. They actually would make a sizable difference because that allows us to get more mutagens and they are good. They are really good. So that would be something that is worthwhile doing. From a weapons perspective, of course we can upgrade the arsenal but the question is do we need that right now hmm i would like to test a couple of these weapons for instance destiny 3 looks absolutely fantastic with that range Seems like a highly accurate weapon. That one here, the tech, uh, the grenade launcher, that looks absolutely fantastic. Yeah, Fury 2, we could use a couple of those together with the Fury missiles. Just having those two would help us a lot with just shredding a lot of uh, things. And I wonder, I mean, they are reasonably well priced. Hmm. So that's another good investment. We're struggling a bit on the tactical layer here and there, uh, just with a lack of equipment, specifically on the lower teams. The highest team, the A team, uh, is absolutely fine. Now, I want to also build up more bases, which I think one option would be to get the Tiamat, build that Get those three days out of the way and just suck it up uh, mm. but before we do that i think the arms for the technicians they are actually very 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 helpful so building three of them for the three technicians that would be good one Fury Launcher. And one of these laser PDWs.
Okay. Um, we could scan down here. Are there any further scans up here is the question. No, and there seems to be no attack at the moment, so might as well just go a bit deeper. starting the mission yet now we can start the mission so the Helios is already they are on the way this is almost done the moment that we arrive, we can start moving. Yeah, so the next big thing will be that mission. Couple of heal, a uh, couple of uh, probes. Where do we want to launch them? One over here. Okay. Could look for the rest here. I mean, they are not super expensive, right? So I think in terms of manufacturing, we're just getting a couple more of these probes done and we'll deploy them everywhere. Good, Mandicore 1. We got Manticore 3 ready, almost. Just a little bit hit point damage that needs to be healed. And here are our last two members, Steven and Asian Cow. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I'm not giving you special traits yet. I don't even know what the setup is going to look like. Our other points are just going into our prime team as always. So let's take a look here. I think we wanted to help JP Pauly to get that second class. So we could go into priest training and then he would be a priest just without a headpiece. Um.
The other one is inappropriate Murphy. And we wanted to give a technician training just without the arms. But that's fine. I believe that's an okay trade-off because the technician ability later, um, the electric reinforcement seems very strong. For now, just even getting that easy use of the med kits is great. And for Pauli, questions: Do we want that uh, mm, that uh, reverse training? Priest would give us more mind control options. We already have. Uh, the speed up priest later would give the psychic ward the other option that we could do is go for uh, the assault with onslaught that also gives uh, fast uh, fast use. Return fire isn't bad. Dash generally is good. So that would complement him. What do we want to do with him? He has the PDWs, so assault wouldn't be bad. Uh, Berserker, of course, would be a, a very solid uh, option. He's not going to kill anyone, so heavy... With the inspire wouldn't really matter war cry i could see just having that third person uh, with war cry and essentially melee proficiency on the other hand with priest we have a second mind control we have two characters that uh, that can use a lot of will points. We do have a second psychic ward. And that also looks very strong. Deal 100 damage to all enemy uh, enemies within 10 tiles. If I compare that here it's half of uh, the size of Instill Frenzy, but it's still strong. Kills all of the worms, everyone. The only thing that we would not have is the Judgment Head. We instead got the Clarity Head, which is fine. Hmm. I mean, look, it, we do have enough willpower, so technically we should be okay with it. What's the alternative as a second class? Priest seems the best so far. Already have um, mind immunity. We can restore body parts, so that should not be a problem. I think we're going with Priest, really. Uh, it is strong, that second mind control will go a long way. We got laser auto turrets. That is good. Uh, just out of curiosity, 
inappropriate Murphy still doesn't have any other weapon proficiencies certainly don't yeah, I'm not going to give him sniperist we now do have PDWs so that would be an alternative just giving him like a gun that shoots with one action that actually would fit very well because then he can mind control shoot and with two uh, move and heal it's a lot of actions so i like yeah i, I like uh, that he doesn't need to deal a lot of damage we already have the other characters for that Still not 100% sure what that Redeemer uh, does and if it is any good. Good, we typically don't need that much ammunition. I think overall he's going to be fine with a piranha. As soon as we do have a PDW, we can give that to him. Okay, cool. Well, enough playing around with all of the equipment. Uh, you guys are going into a mission very soon. And the guy is up here. In Manticore 1 and Manticore uh, 3 are going on to a mission as well still haven't gotten any new harvestable materials that's a bit of a shame uh, but i definitely need to equip our priest here radiant hope um how about We're giving him a leg armor that does not automatically slow him down too much. Problem is with the Berserker leg armor, he's fast, but he will also die uh, quite fast. these and I would like the priest to have some more healing material and if possible a second weapon at the moment is the purification grenade sometimes I was running around with a shotgun At other times, it's just giving him uh, more med kits. Not the best um, loadout, but I think we're going to be fine. Definitely need more hit points. Asian cow is okay with the hit points. I think healer isn't that bad. I mean, two willpower at the moment are already 21 and the 30% bonus healing on top of it is really not bad. Good, this will be the first time that I'm using Radiant Hope. Let's hope that it is actually any good. Otherwise, we need to mutate it away. Rest of the crew look solid. We already have a priest in here, as it seems. Oh yeah, we 
mutated our assault into a priest. Also an interesting combination, assault priest isn't too bad. Um, relatively aggressive for a priest, but I, I like it. Uh, here, this, uh, this priest, Stephen, uh, when he has enough points, now let's see what we're going to do. I wanted to give Vanessa also, uh, let her become also a uh, Psy Priest. Now we're just running with three Psy Priests. Not sure yet. Looks uh, potentially like a little bit overkill. I didn't have it on the radar that we have Steven here as a priest. Um, potentially, since she already does, uh, maybe we're just going to mix her with the salt and use a bit more um, aggressive training. But then again, she does have uh, the turrets, so they should be fine. Maybe we'll tra uh, put her together with Sniper. I'll figure something out. Um, it's in the future anyways. We do have three Snipers already, so yeah, never mind. Which means what we could do... We do have Berserker Sniper here. What we could do is actually put a couple more heavies in here. So maybe Vanessa could become heavy plus tech heavy plus berserker sounds like a really good combination so asian cow could uh, become that yeah we're lacking a bit the front line as it stands we have three snipers we got him as kind of a mid midline this is our only front line Berserker and Heavy. Might as well take a second one. And with him, we could go into Priest Plus. We already got Priest Plus um, Assault. Priest Sniper, but we already have that uh, a lot of snipers. To be honest, Maybe we're just going to make him a uh, a priest slash assault as well. Then we do have two psi active characters in the middle, or or that's another option. Um, make him a technician so that he's really the full support. Also leave the hat as is because we already have. Um, the assault uh, with a hat and then for her uh, as the second technician we're going technician plus uh, plus assault which means we have two assaults with kind of support classes one true support uh, that's actually an interesting combination now that i think about it might be a, i'm i'm maybe onto something here so we got medical one And Manticore 3. Manticore 4 is there. Well, this is the next mission that we're going to do. And there is yet another mission on the radar. Cool. That's the end of today's episode, guys. Long uh, planning session as always in this game. Uh, it just takes a long, long time to do everything uh, in parallel. I'm not even sure if I'm quick or not but seeing just how much how much red is coming up everywhere i need more bases so after that training after all of that manufacturing here uh, we're still short one vehicle that's fine but i've decided we need more bases uh, this here needs to be pushed back because the more we're in the mist, the easier it is for the Pandorans to attack. And I really want all of this to be uh, to be pushed back. I like the bases that we're having and I want to defend them. 
Because currently that's what's keeping everyone happy. Well, they are not happy with one another, but they are happy with me. Good. If you want to push back uh, the Pandoran Mist, then the only way of doing that in real life is to hit the like button. Because it's continuously like getting out there and you need to hit it. Uh, like there is no tomorrow. Thank you and see you in two days. Bye bye.